Right, what have we got? I'm midway through doing some other shooting, so you'll have to excuse the crap and the table saws in, in bits down there as well. Um, we've got uh, we've got Reggie 2 on the stand, so this is my bike. Um, it is my only main bike, I ride it summer and winter. Uh, it's a Holdsworth Super Professional UCI frame. Uh, it's one of their Tour de France team frames and uh, it's uh, it had quite a hard life last weekend um, I'm gonna get these off because these should have uh, these should have had some some rubber underneath them um, not some rubber some uh, protection underneath them uh, it needs a good clean but um, there's a couple other things I need to make some changes the the bike essentially was built up uh, not last year the year before it's a bit of an emergency job because my other frame snapped and I just happened to drop onto this frame so the majority of what's on this bike came off another um, another bike uh, as donor parts so some of these parts are getting on a bit now they're getting a little bit tired a little bit dated I would have liked to have put the Ultegra 8000 group set on it but it's best part of you know it's, it's about a grand and a half to buy that group set and then you kind of well do I buy if I'm going to buy a brand new one do I spend the extra money and get the get the uh, sorry I've just <laughs> I've had them on there and I've had, I haven't had some heli tape underneath because I wasn't expecting on leaving them on that long so I'm just checking I haven't actually damaged the frame at all um, there might be a few uh, nearly bits where some mucks got stuck underneath it but the frames had a bit of a knock all right so we're going, to, we're going to make some changes to the bike. Um, I've bought some bits. Uh, I've got a carbon crank set to go on it. Um, uh, that's got a power meter built into it. Uh, I've never been happy with the 6800 uh, front derailleur. Always had loads of problems with it. The way that it cantilevers across there is, is absolutely shocking. It has to put quite a lot of force on to get it to move. And all they needed to do was just angle that slightly and it would have been a much better design so I've got uh, six I've got a an eight an R8000 which is the next gen on I'm hoping it works with those I've got mixed feedback um, on the websites as to whether they do or they don't but you can never tell either way where people are actually talking whether they actually know something or they're just spouting so I'm hoping, because they've discontinued these parts anyway, it's very hard to get them now. So even if I broke the derailleurs um, and they didn't work with those things, I'm going to have to replace them anyway. So it's probably better that I move on. Uh, this group set's had its day. So if I start replacing everything by bit, I think we'll be alright. The brakes are fine anyway. Um, I'm just hoping that the, the new ones, because of what I've got is I've also got a new derailleur for the back. These weigh absolutely nothing there's no weight there at all it, it's all plastic or carbon and there's just no weight to it but this is a um, this is an SS and this is a GS if you know what the GS means the GS means it's a um, it's a bigger it's a bigger cage um, and what that's going to enable me to do is it's going to enable me to run a slightly bigger back block because at the moment I'm I'm, I'm running a, uh, a combination of either classic a 32 uh, sorry a, a 53 36 on the front and I've got a 25 11 on the back but this is the compact that I took off the turbo bike to try and help me through the winter a bit but last weekend it just absolutely killed me it just wasn't enough I ran out of gears and I was dead so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the option to drop a cassette on that's a uh, 30, um, 32, 11. So it's within the range of this, but it's too out of the range of that. I can go through a 30, 11 on here, um, but um, that's the most I can go to. So we're just gonna, we're gonna whip that off, whip that off. I'm gonna leave this back block on for the time being because I don't want to change the chain because I think I'm going to have to stick another two links in the chain because I'm putting this back up to the the bigger ring. Now this was all sized up 
to run on a uh, 53.30 on the a 53.27 uh, on the back so the chain ring I'm putting on is the bigger chain ring so I need to leave the back block the same um, and then it'll be fine because that's what it was built up to do I'll be able to put the bigger back block on and then drop down so when I run the bigger back block I will be running the smaller one at the front so the chain should be the right size but what I haven't got at the moment is I haven't got the smaller things I've got the 53 what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting in the winter I'm going to be running a different set of discs on this um, you can see it's a power meter it's the um, it's the FSA uh, power box which is an FSA um, crank, K-Force crank with a uh, power to max crank uh, power meter attached to it and um, RSA bundled them up as a as a unit. Um, I think the first thing I need to do um, is probably clean the chain actually because that, that chain looks disgusting. So let's get that chain cleaned um, and then we will get the chain off uh, I'll get the crank out, we'll stick the crank in, um, I think I adjusted that when I put, I did, I adjusted that down when I put this in, see it's not simple when you change all your geometry, it's quite a big job, everybody thinks oh you just switch that over, so sometimes it is easier just to switch your back block out, um, because you haven't got to do anything up the front, as soon as you start, everybody says oh just change your gears up the front, it's a lot easier, it's not, because even if you leave the crank in place, which I don't think you can do on most of them, because most of them, you'd, you'd have to bolt it out the bottom there um, it's easy just take the crank out once you put the different gears on you've got to adjust that that needs to be a certain distance away from that there's actually a little sticky you can put on to measure it I actually think that's probably a bit close that one but anyway we'll get that off we'll get that off we'll get that off we'll get the back derailleur off we'll drop the back wheel um, and we'll give everything a clean um, well, let's crack on with that now Just realised, I started taking the pedals off and I've not even uh, invited you along for the fun. Right, um, I think it might be a good idea to get that chain off. So uh, let's have a quick. We're back. Because I've loaded everything up on top of here, I guarantee that the tool I need is inside here. So I've now got all this stuff off here now. Which will probably result in something getting dropped on the floor or broken or something along those lines. I think we lost that. There she is. So, usual trick to pop these apart. Needed to stand in front of you. That's what I was trying to avoid. chain off let's get that off let me just go and get the right spanglers so we want new and we want new I think these two are the ones we want I see two of this is a four that out. I think that's a five. Yeah. Really awkward to get to as well. Sorry, stood in your way again. In fact, let's find somewhere better for you to stand so I'm not always... I think that's better for you, isn't it? Let's make life easier as well. Let's get these front wheels off. Make it easier to clean the frame as well. 
Yeah, we're technically in summer season now as well, so I should have my summer wheels on. Right. Uh, yes, this. That's where we were. I never understood why I needed one of those um, stick on plates with this one because it doesn't have an adjuster unless I'm missing something else it does it's there I can see it there is an adjuster so there's an adjuster on a lot of these so you tighten that up a little bit and make it so it's loose and then there's an adjuster thing that you wind in and out so that it, it you you get it pinned in the right place and it's not gonna get moved um, but I don't need one for this one because it's it's you screwing onto this plate so that's uh, that's a bonus. Right, we're not going to fill this full of parts. We're going to keep the parts out of here for once. And we're just going to have tools in here. Tools, 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 tools. No parts. We're going to keep the parts out of there. Right. I'm interested about this crank because I'm still getting a ticking noise. Despite all the efforts I've put in with this flipping crank, I'm still getting some funny noises. So I'm going to have to nip round here. Sorry. Let's get the crank off. Knock that wheel over. I need to be quite quick as well because I've got a there's a program that we watch on a Friday night, and the wife was supposed to be sorry, the wife Joanne was stopping late at work because they're doing an office move but it looks like they've got done early so she's back so I've not got long I've probably got well, actually I don't think it's on until uh, until later so we might be all right I might have a bit longer yet but I do need to get a rig along with this fancy tool you don't need to see this you know how this works so you undo the two bolts two pinch bolts and then that should allow me to undo this finger tight tension bolt on the other side and it should if I pop that up because I can never remember where you have to go with that that should come off and we're off simple we can recover that now and we're out Right, you do not live in there, you live up there. That looks pretty scabby. Just give that a quick wipe down while we're in there. One's my clean off there. There you go, why not make you happy? Get that back wheel off as well. Let's give the whole frame a quick wipe down while we're here. That saved me doing it later. Get that off there. I do not like riding with my tools attached to the bike. I think it just encourages uh, bad things happening to your bike. I'd, I'd normally have them in my back pocket, but um, it was such a long ride at the weekend, I needed my back pocket's free for food space, so uh, this is going to need a really good strip down at some point to get all the brakes sorted out and everything, so I'm, I'm not too fussed about getting it too perfect. Put this one with this one. It's been nice to get back onto some skinny fast wheels again. It's been a long winter. I've actually done a few winter rides, This not as many as I should have done, but Right. Jobs are going. Let's put, let's put things back where I got them from. Now then, what size is that? It's a big size. Uh, 
and where it's not, so it's a little size. Oops. Right. First things first. Shift all these rags because they're getting the nerves out as well now. Uh, let's undo this. Ding. Because it's still in. The cable's running quite smoothly anyway, so that's that's a plus. Uh, I'm going to see if I can recycle this and not unswap it over from the other one, rather than that's it if it'll come out. I can't remember if I can get these through or not. No. That's a shame, I rather liked that one. Gonna have it. Sorry, I did like them, they were black. They were rather snazzy. So rather than risk losing it, we will shove that back in there. And that looks a bit screwed up. Come on, bite. That'll do for the time being. We've got a few issues going on with that piece of plastic. It needs straightening out and shoving in. It's not, uh, it's not playing ball. Right, so that's that one off. Just interested weight wise. Yeah, that's slightly lighter. But having said that though, there's not a massive amount of difference between the the new ones and the old ones. So a little bit of styling but a lot of it's so that's the six eight hundred. That's the R8000, so that's the new version. There's not, there's not a lot in it really. It's got a few chips out of it. Um, main difference I'd say is that they've that that bit that that bit there is now that lower section is now plastic, whereas on actually no, that looks like plastic as well. No, I could be wrong. That 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 doesn't. So I think that's where it's got the lightness out of it, that, that that piece there is now plastic, that bottom section. So the main question is, is it compatible? <coughs> so you fit these in exactly the same way as you you do the all the others so you have to make sure this is actually hanging on the the thing and you've not moved it out of the way that's interesting it's got two positions i didn't remember seeing that in the uh, Interesting, let's look at how this one fits. So this one's just got the one position with an adjuster on it. And that goes hard up against it, about there. Now I think you can take these... I did read somewhere that you can, you can take this piece off and you can direct 
mount that through there but I think you have to have a compatible hanger for that yeah I, I think I think it goes like that I've got the uh, I've got the instruction manual on my uh, phone so we can we can check it that that looks right that I don't know I think we'll are you back? Why do you keep turning off? You're recording, I think you are anyway. Oh we're nearly out of card. That can't be right. No, that's where we're we're counting on card. I don't know why you keep turning off. We'll keep an eye on you. Yeah, right, so the uh, I'm just gonna to have to bite the bullet and cut this. I really didn't want to. So fingers crossed this does actually work. Because that ain't gonna fit now. Unless I cut the other one down. Oh, have I cut it too small? No, don't think so. We will find out. Right, so that's at its lowest. Let's clean this frame because I've let it dry now, haven't I? Trouble is this is this is an oily rag. Try to clean a frame with an oily rag, especially a bright orange frame. mainly worried about these bits I can't get to, the bits inside here. I spelt sticky pop all the way down my frame as well the other day. Right that looks a little bit better. God, the muck gets away, you just can't get a cloth. And then when you do get a cloth, you turn out a whole... When you do get a cloth in there, you turn out a whole load of muck, but you then have got to shift again. God, these really are bad. Try to avoid looking in there. I have to look around this side, aren't I? Actually, it's not too bad, I've got most of it. Well, she's cleaned up well anyway. Right. Parts in there again. No. 
Right, where were we? We need to get this crank on. I need some grease. So these have got the uh, these have got the uh, the the extract the self extracting bolt. So there's a, a cap nut on the end of that, which stops this. It's a very similar system to what SRAM uses on theirs. So that's the flex washer I've got. That battery went flat this time. Right. Um, completely lost where I was going with that. Um, I've just got to pop this out, the uh, the washer's stuck. So these are adapter kits. I don't think I'm going to need them. Now what I was saying was that there's a, there's a curly washer behind there. So that's a wave washer. Um, I think it's a wave washer. It's either a wave washer or it's one of the packing pieces. Now it does say I shouldn't need a packing piece on this. Right, that's an MS318 and I know that an MS318 is a packing piece. So it's not a wavy washer, it's a packing piece. That, that's the wavy washer. Now it says we shouldn't need that and this should just go straight onto there. But we will put some grease on it. Red grease everywhere. Some in the middle of there. Shouldn't really pass that through the frame in case I catch the frame. But it's my frame. Right, let me take myself over here and give this a bit of a wallop. Okay, that's weird, it's not going in. Why is it not going in? I don't like having to hit this, especially as it's a carbon crank. So one of these has got a better has got a better face on it and no muck on it. So we'll just give it a That is not going in. That is uh, disturbing because these are 24mm cap pieces but for some reason that is not going in. It doesn't help, I'm actually trying to put it on the wrong side as well. Why didn't you tell me? Don't think that'll make any difference because oh, turns out it might make loads of difference. No, I think it's still stiff. I think it's just being fucking awkward. Because if I wriggle it, it's going in. There we go. That is nearly there. to wind it in to use it to pull it through but I'm not sure I should do that. Um, there is a metal collar on there I wonder if I've got something I can 
insert in there to protect the carbon fibre bit of the crank. How big's that? No, because that's going to mark it. No, that's going to mark it. This might be the approach. Don't do this at home, and I certainly won't be doing this if it wasn't my frame. Yeah, it's through, but it's not all the way through. I'm hoping I don't have to put a different bottom bracket on here. See, I can't see if it's all the way in. I don't think that's all the way in. Um, let's see if I've got another wavy washer. I have a box of spares for FSA cranks in here. I even have a spare FSA crank. And I'm pretty sure that somewhere in here is a spare wavy washer. I think that's a spacer. I could have sworn there was a wavy washer in here. It's definitely the right bottom bracket. That's the spare FSA push fit um, bottom bracket I've got. And maybe it ended up somewhere else, or maybe it ended up in there. Pretty sure I didn't throw it out because I do like a wavy washer. Well, for a while like, there was one set up on here. Pretty sure that's a uh, that's a spacer off one of these. No. Nope, can't find it. Right, we're gonna have to do what it says not to do in the book and let's use this to draw it in In now, I just want to get my torch in there and have a look because no, that's that's still got some way to go. That So it's quite possible that this bottom bracket's not compatible with it. Um, this bottom bracket, when you use it with a Shimano, it doesn't really matter. stand in front of you. That's it, right, we are up. We are at tension and it is spinning. And it is absolutely perfect. Now, it did say um, 
you might not need the wavy wa your wavy washers to take up any play. I can't see. Right, there's a little bit of movement there. So I think if I put the wavy washer back in, that might be a tad too thing. We might need the spacer instead of the wavy washer. Oh, it's talked up now. Must be a quick job. I'm not convinced this wavy washer is brilliant either, though. So, uh, I've lost my wavy washer because this wavy washer has a bit where it folds over. I'm almost tempted to put the other one on, the spacer washer. Let's put the spacer on. No movement. So let's see if we can now crank it up without it getting too tight. My uh, my torque wrench my torque wrench is on its last legs. So oh, perfect. So I think if we've got a proper wavy washer in there without that overlap, because there's an overlap. I think we would have been we would have been spot on. I think we'd have been spot on upstairs when I tried it on the other bike as well. So let's just get all the dirty footprints from up from around here. Before we put that back together, but that is spot on. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely and light this frame. Just put a whole load more dirty paw prints up there. Right. The dirty paw prints all the way along there. Let's get them now before we miss our chance. Right, we've got the crank in so we can put this on now. Wind, wind, wind. Bit of lithium grease on there. So I don't know if you can see this. There's a sticker on there and you line the sticker up with the teeth to make sure you get it the right distance. got to pick the right teeth though because you've got you've not got to pick the ones that are slightly shorter because they're the pickup teeth right I think that's about the right height we're gonna to have to reset this anyway when we uh, when we put the other gear on and it needs to be level problem is as you're tightening it up it's moving it 
I've probably wiggled that all over the place now. No, nope, we're still good. So the idea of this is now I, I, I get an adjuster and I tie that up to it so that it, it pushes against the frame to, to line it up. Make the tiny ones. Pretty sure it's this one. Though I could be wrong. And where is it? It's somewhere in there. Of course I've got the wrong size. It's this one. That's it. Right, so that's just pushed it massively out of line. Right, so that's where it needs to be now. So I can tighten this up. Uh, so what you do now is you wind out the adjuster bolts, uh, which are on here very tiny and very hidden so I think that's the one yep and then you put that against there that looks good so you're just checking that with the outside of the ring it's flush against there then you pull this off and you don't lose it, you keep that spare. You stick it to the lid of the gearbox because I'll use that. I lost the last one. So that's where it should be now. So all I need to do now is reroute this. That's it, we're all good. So these are these got a really weird routing. Um, And with these as well you have to thread them through this this bolt head so that's gonna have to come off as well uh, where did I put the clippers down they're not in the drawer so this is why you don't put your tools down all over the place because I now can't find that I cut it over here Retrace your steps. Right, so we'll just trim that off. So this goes in here and out the other end, hopefully. Yep, there we go. The idea is that that keeps this pinned in place. So when that goes through there, it comes out the other side and then sits there, something like that. Now hopefully, we haven't lost any of these. So that's that one, so we need to make sure that that's happy in its hole. To make sure that's happy in its hole and that needs to come undone. Now these are quite clever because they've got an adjuster built into the actual bracket that holds it in place and I've put my four mil allen key here, no it's not, it's here. So there's a that goes up there and through there and then what it does apparently is it disappears it comes round here it goes underneath there and pops out the other side I 
and then we put that on. We'll put that somewhere safe. Oops. So this piece here, right, is that you you can't see this. So in the top of here, th this piece floats and it needs to be pushed across because then you crank that in and that pushes this whole assembly round and allows it to tension the cable. This needs to disappear underneath there, or it goes, and it's supposed to come out there, but I can't see how it does that. I have no idea how you're supposed to do that. Well, then the only way you can do is feed it under to start off with. So it's supposed to go underneath that piece of and I think it's supposed to come out that other side over there. I can't see how it's supposed to do that. Right. Front derailleur. It was right at the end. So it is exactly how I've been trying to do it. It goes underneath there, so you can see it there. Yeah, it goes underneath there, out the other side. So out the other side of there and out of there. So but the problem is that's in the way. So I'm not sure entirely how you're supposed to do that. This is why I had a lot of trouble with these last time I tried to do them because I couldn't quite work out where that was supposed to go. Let's try and get it through there first and then through there. This is Faffy McFaff Faff. Right, I think we've got that in. Need a pair of pliers. So this could be done with being a lot longer now. Actually, once it's through, you can actually use it. You can actually brace, brace it on the uh, derailleur to make sure you get it good and tight. Actually, so it's not that bad. I think that derailleur wants re. Oops, that's moved across. Right. I think that's where we need it to be. I think the drain is slightly adjusting back.
that's okay. Plasticky thing. If I put that on the right way around, there is only that way it can go. it goes here because I looked that up earlier so that goes on there and then pushes down there just like that and then at some point you're supposed to be able to crimp something on the end of there which is going to be pretty tight We're not going to do it just yet. I would like to see if it moves though. How far it moves. That's not too bad. I think we're going to have to drop that down a tad. Yeah, that's okay. That looks like it's going to work. We'll, we'll not know until we get the chain on. That was one that I was worried about because the spec on these front things has changed. They're a lot narrower. So it's quite possible that the ratio on the front levers changed as well to deal with that. Um, but we'll, we'll find out shortly. So I've just got this back piece to sort out now. Which we'll do that when we've got the... Uh, Hang on, because I can't set that up until the wheel's on. So, oops. Let's get the wheel on. Filthy, filthy wheel in my nice clean frame. Give myself some more slack with that. Right, that needs adjusting, that's nowhere near. Assuming these have got the same silly little screws. So you adjust this so that the jockey wheel is just on the... the middle of the jockey wheel is on the outside edge of the... Um, Thing. But again, it's difficult to do without the chain on. So I think it's time to chuck the chain on now. And then hopefully... I might need to put a bit more out on that top one. I can also do it now while the chain's off, it's easier to do. And with this one, they should be directly in line. Chain. Now there is a right and a wrong way for these. I think it's right into the outside, nothing more strenuous than that.
This chain's still pretty crusty. Right, I think there is a direction on these. Yep. So that one goes that way. That one goes that way. See what I'm doing for once. Come on, here we go. There we go. That's it. Give them a quick wipe before I get it all over. You've got it all over. Winging it around, right. That looks okay. So all we've got to do now is fasten this in here. They are awkward as anything now because it's down here. I think it goes all the way and round on this one now. Yeah, I think we've got a bit of an issue there. I finally get to work on one of these and read the instruction manual. Right, let's have a quick
couple of miles off of the adjustment. I think we're going to have to put a longer one of them on. My cunning plan to try and reuse it's uh, failed somewhat. Which means we'll have to recable it. It's not the end of the world. They're probably due, to be honest. Got their sixes. <laughs> six on the back, five on the front, hopefully. One, two, three. I'm going to go around these again because it says seven to eight. again. Two. Three. Four. One more. Five. So I think that's it. Let me just get me a uh, dirty rag. Probably could do with another clean this. But it's not going to get one. Oil. Can't find my oil can. There it is. Like I said, this does need a beginning of summer proper stripped down and clean. It's not going to get it at the moment. I haven't got time. That's it. Wing a bit of oil on it. Right, let's see what it runs like now. I've got some pedals on it. Just having a look at this top one because I didn't set it. Seems fine. Bit better now we've got a bit of oil on as well. Spot on that. Good enough. Set it to that one and that one. I 
can't remember which way you're supposed to set the chain on these. I thought it was that, and then halfway up. And then so I think we need to bring this back. Put another one on. Oh no, we are in the right one. It's supposed to be sort of Oops, I just did the wrong thing. Let's go check that again there. That's a bit better. Let's see if that runs any better here. about right. Adjusting it the wrong way. There we go. That's better. When we, uh, when I pulled that back, it's altered the, it's altered the adjustments. So I've just had to dial it back a bit. Don't want to go back and got to go too far now. Yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, that's okay. Don't know what's the right tab now.
Right, I think we've got it. A bit fiddly. But we're there now. Good. These brake pads need replacing. Oh God, they are down. Yeah, I think I think we'll get some more brake pads. Try to think what the fronts are like, because they were the ones that were taking the hammer on uh, the other day. Right. Happy with that. Like the access slop off there. Jobs are good. Right. I think I'm live over you and I've probably got a lot of stuff to trim out of that because you've got my arm in most of it. Right. Hope that's been useful. Uh, I think what we've done here is we've settled the uh, in fact let's do this prop. Oops. Where's my stool? My stool is stuck. Oh. So, so, what have we learned? Don't buy stuff off eBay. No, we got it to fit in the end. Uh, I did read up on these and it does say that these these cranks have got very very high tolerances and if the bottom brackets aren't exactly right they won't fit and you have to put spacers in but I've got the opposite problem that I've built out this bottom bracket to try and get over this this creaking problem that I've got and um, somewhere along the, the lines the bottom bracket is slightly wider than it it should be but we've kind of got there by swapping out the plastic cups I mean, the um, the bottom bracket was a China special, but it was it's ceramic, so it's 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 kind of a bit of a risk. I mean, it's a standard frame, so I could rip it all out, put a standard FSA push fit bottom bracket back in there, put the cups back in, and it would probably fit because it's an FSA bottom bracket and everything. But having said that, this is a Holdsworth, so it's a Planet X. I'm not sure about the tolerances. So it could be that this whole problem I've got with this noisy bottom bracket is because there's some issue with the frame. But we'll we'll see how it goes with this new crank on it. Um, we'll run this chain ring for a couple of weeks um, and then we'll swap it out for the, the compact version of it. Uh, and then hopefully at that point I can run anything front or back on that back cog um, and we'll be not a million miles away. So one of the main questions we've answered that I didn't have an answer for but I now know going forwards is that the Shimano Ultegra R8000s are compatible with the Shimano Ultegra 6800 previous generation head handsets. On the back definitely, on the front I think we're still okay. The ratios apparently the discs um, are closer together on the new ones. Um, so the shifting is supposed to be smooth, it doesn't have to move the chain as far and obviously then you don't get that problem with the chain catching the inside so they don't have to trim um, but um, I think you get round that because this has still got the same articulation on the new ones it must just be a smaller amount and you do it so it's more likely that the the cranks aren't compatible with the new shifters because that has a full range of motion and it still appears to be going through the same ratio of pull I would just put money on the new um, shifters don't have that trim they just have the the two positions because they're closer together which which would make sense so shifters probably not compatible um, or the chain rings not compatible but everything else is 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 compatible um, so that's fine, all we've got to do now is just test this. I could do a cleaning this up, it's got a little scuff there, but it's I think it'll buff out that. Um, it's a lovely chain ring, it weighs a fraction of the weight of the, uh, the one I took off. I mean, these, these are quite light, but 
but that's really light. And bear in mind that's got a battery and a whole load of electronics in there as well. Um, that, that's, uh, that's pretty good. There is actually a bit of play on that. But that should be taken out when the um, when that gets done up and it's not in the right place anyway. That feels a bit better. So I think that's it. Hope that was useful. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes. And when we give it its final strip down and, and clean up, we'll uh, I'm sure I'll bring you back for that. Right. In the meantime, jobs are good in.